Why is this news for me very important news? It's not only that this man was involved in MK Ultra. There is something more to it. They were bragging about how they will get my attention. They were, this is what this got my attention for. Had me watch news they fabricated on the internet, uh, on not on the internet, but before it took place on the internet. They something they even interpreted to me under MK Ultra to make me look as paranoid as possible, as parallel to the internet. I'm not gonna say that something like this doesn't exist. It's possible. I don't know about that stuff though. I think that would quickly get too much attention. That there is a, like a special, there's actually a possibility that there is something out there that certain people have access to from around the world. It could be something like this. Who knows what's go, what goes on really. I'm not, I'm not trying to make you paranoid. I'm saying they were trying to make me paranoid that there is another internet. Okay whatever maybe they figure out that i'm smart enough that i'm gonna know that that's not possible the truth however is that i wasn't smart enough because i was stressed out from this mk ultra torture and therefore i didn't take time to even understand basics basically that apply to these things so i stayed at sometimes god knows when in maybe 2013 that 2015 maybe even that they have had uh, some kind of a parallel to the internet net because i didn't understand what the fuck went on in respect to the way they created websites which where the news was not even published yet you know so yeah you have a website that is not online basically but it's fully fully functional when you click this, you click on the news, you get, you get, basically everything is stored on your laptop. That's what they were doing. Whatever is the name for that, I don't know because I'm not, as I stated, I'm not very computer literate even though. I don't know how that's done, but I'm sure this is not a big deal. Uh, anyhow, this is how they launched AliExpress, by the way. Just so you know, AliExpress was already launched in a way I stated before it reached the internet in 99 and in 99 russians started to drive me insane with the aliexpress already in 1998 knowing the chinese are going to launch that kind of website they wanted not only to participate but design the whole aliexpress site for the chinese for the chinese they said yeah right whatever so anyhow, it, AliExpress came out in 2010, just so you know, when it was launched. But with the products, with bullshit that the Russians drove me insane through AliExpress, which did not exist, that stuff started in 2001. The AliExpress stuff that did not exist even. But here's the thing that I want to concentrate on this. They had this news, right? Like you would go to the main page of this AliExpress uh, UK, whatever. And then you have a news that, 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 and they wanted to see which one, which one would you like to read? Which one is going to get your attention? Which one, in other words, was provocative enough? So I'm talking about the journalists here that should have been journalists. And we're actually evaluating through MK Ultra torture on how to make news appealing enough, provocative to people to click on it. To take bite, basically. This here was fabricated. Britons came together to share home remedies amid major cough medicine shortage, right? Who the hell would not want home remedies, right? No medicine, medicine shortage, and but there is a home remedies, and Britons came together to share their recipes, you know, in a sense that let's see what this is all about. So they knew that uh, they're going to get attention. They're going to earn with this news. But it's interesting what they advertise. 
they advertise this stuff here. <laughs> it says medicines have a side effects. Okay. Well, all drugs, all medicines, all interventions like this have side effects. There is no such thing as a drug with no side effect. All of us look different on the outside because we are genuinely genetically different. And that means we're all subtly very different on the inside biochemically. And when we make drugs and medicines, it's a, a best fit. It's a bit like going to the... Okay, okay. He's giving me exact speech from MK Ultra on how I should eat properly to be genetically and I don't know what. The same, more or less, that I would feed to the profile of the people uh, which I could help myself uh medically and stuff like this it is this is just taking the first pair of shoes off the shelf and saying please wear these and we haven't measured everyone's feet individually that's an aspiration of medicine in the future to do that kind of personalized medicine but this does mean you do occasionally get the pharmaceutical equivalent of an ill-fitting pair of shoes in a very small number of people and the goal of making any kind of medicine and drug is to minimize the number of people who end up with a badly fitting pair of shoes but it does happen we do accept it happens and the key thing here is the mhra have been very fast to say well we've noticed this we'll investigate but in the meantime as a cautionary note we'll advise people who are in this particular position and there are, there are few of them so it's it's not like we're expecting this to happen a lot but just as a cautionary note anyone in that situation shouldn't take this until we learn a bit more about why it happened in those two individuals so this is done in a in a very very Orwellian way in my case pertaining to me. Um, the NHA will investigate; they will help. But in meanwhile, you should do whatever you possibly can to stay alive. Basically, translate it. Well, if I was waiting on NHA, I would be dead long time ago. If I would consider this news, it would be even worse. British feared these shoes here that you see this they feared them King Charles who evaluated absolutely everything figured out that these are the one of the deadliest if not the deadliest shoes right here this these are the best shoes because they're warm from right below they're good sturdy to walk tough resistant to bruise and they made sale of these shoes through a very very disgusting setup at the time when they made a sale the cancer thrombosis progressed in me enormously um, that's one thing I have to say. The quality of my blood at the time of this purchase of these shoes, which the shoes were purchased, I think last year, about the same time, like now, something like this. I had a real problem using them, but not because something would have been wrong with the shoes. It was because they made a setup through my father and my mother through using these shoes. They would go and get laces pulled together. I was rushing to my father for a visit to hospital and they would do shit like this and that triggered the injury in a center of the left foot center of the left foot however they stabbed with the needles the same as they stabbed lymph nodes in my left arm and under the arm they created the same kind of injury and i suspect also a top of my head that where you have uh, a vein, um, how would you say, and you would repeatedly damage one by stabbing one, and you would create like a knot. You would start to create injury chronicle, permanent in other words,
by also making individual where this kind of base let's say shoe base right what is this during icy cold weather making walk person on snow with his shoes is gonna penetrate have penetrate cold through uh, the foot straight into his foot center and it will become chronical more and more chronic injury my injury was already healed in a such a way that no matter what they were trying to do and they have orchestrated here I video recorded it on many 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 times but I really really didn't pay attention when I rushed to visit my father enough I ignored and when they started to do that stuff during visitations to father the injury that I have spoken about from the center of the foot surfaced out boom that's the injury they grew 25 years under MK Ultra they grew that injury they were also using a socks next to the shoes that were too small it wasn't only it wasn't only with only with this they used they used technology shoes that were also too small they forced on my feet and make me walk drugged up socks that were too tight and were squeezing my uh, what is this ankles all the way up to knees is what they were using they were too tight and they make me walk 30 40 50 more kilometers during mk ultra is the next thing they used and so that this thrombosis this injury they created in the center of the foot have had spread all the way up here now this is a fucking problem because this shoe is a tough shoe and inside of this house is just a guy here with the milk delivery man boy is taking him long eh or maybe the garbage guy whatever okay inside of this house is cold it's very 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 cold here the floor is cold on the stairs where they knew I'm gonna go exercise walk up and down everywhere below all this here is icy cold they procalculated by using the shoes that you have seen eventually even standing here where they told me you're gonna have your office here you're gonna have an injury reappearing to you that I stated in the left foot injury in the center not you're gonna have one reappear and that eventually is gonna with other dots they created creates more and more blood cluster thrombosis and eventually it already happened and that's why I went to the physician at the beginning of the 2021 next to the heart uh, I already started to develop the pain and this was because of the thrombosis well that kind of stuff can go either in your heart or in your brain and eventually you end up dead regretfully again i have to know this and it was chinese people who insisted that i have to use uh, a shoes that are a proper comfortable shoes when i'm inside that i should not even wear shoes that I should sleep without even socks on. Very, very true. And I'm very, very grateful to them for giving me this kind of uh, advice, help, assistance, if you like.
can't find those shoes right now. I don't know where I left these shoes. Uh, but I have a Chinese made shoes that are really good. And uh, I use them like a slippers. They're shoes and I just, because of the, uh, the bottom, I use them against the cold to keep my bottom warm. And so I find it disgusting that they targeted my best purchase ever, these shoes, with everything they had at the time to open the old injury. And I'm truly, truly disgusted because I started to use these shoes even inside of the house. The thing about it is that I shouldn't be using because they are not comfortable, they're not comforting enough shoes. You need to rest your foot whenever you are not doing stuff. But the thing about it is that they knew that I'm going to get to what I stated, to this conclusion that it's better to use even uncomfortable shoes and keep that wound over there uh, intact, allow her to heal itself uh, rather than to uh, take any kind of other shoes in consideration. Because the point here is to make me not wear these shoes. You have no idea these shoes were MK Ultra shoes, how much they discourage me from using them by using smaller size shoes even. They used smaller size shoes to cause tremendous injury. This has a very specific uh, bottom, flat bottom like this. And we're attempting to portray, for me to come out and say that these shoes are no good, that they're causing injury and I don't know what. When in reality, once I started to use garlic and have liberated, cleaned that uh, blood clot that was in the center of the left foot, it came out eventually. One day it was terrible. Uh, eventually this blood clot came out. Boy, this was I don't know how many months. Uh, and I find it disgusting that now, when I started to use these shoes again, the British, they exercised a brainwash, a thorough brainwash against these shoes, that I, how I should not be using these shoes, that these shoes are no good, and so on and so forth. That I, I find it disgusting that you actually come up with shit like this to remind me of something that's actually not truth. And further, what you have attempted to use at your advantage to prove in front of the people that I'm exactly wrong about it. Because you know the truth that these shoes are actually good. So this is what I'm talking about is about the way systematic destruction on how they even try to convince with something on something that is good that is not good. So then the publicly that you can go out and then, then dispute my information and so on. These shoes are fucking good. They're good. They're even good. They're better. It's better to have these shoes, wear these shoes, than to wear the shoes that I demonstrated. It's better to have this kind of shoes than the shoes that cold can penetrate through, even inside of the house. And that's what the fuck you fear. I know that these shoes are good. It's better to have food unrested than catch cold from below. I'm gonna put it this way, so that you understand me properly. And that you invested even in a video like this, in a brainwash like this, Realizing that things are not coming for you the way that you want it, the way that you believe, that how I'm going to fall apart. It makes me disgusted with your principles, with your ideas on how you attempt to convince people still how diabolically Prince Charles would exercise torture 
interrogation. Three days was his longest time that he had me without sleep inside of the house, back and forth. Three days. In, uh, during the daytime, also outside, but when it, it was afternoon and in the mornings and in the afternoon, he interrogated with bullshit. He just talked about bullshit, 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 bullshit. Wanted to know million things, million stuff, and video recorded this and shared that stuff with the journalists. In interrogation, he presented to the journalists as an interview. It was no fucking interview. This were many, many, many interrogations like this during which, since I couldn't even sit in the fucking chair anymore, deprived of the sleep at night time, he had somebody else entertain me, drain my brain, physically drain me, came out of the bed. <clears throat> in the mornings and continue interrogation throughout the day. To prove me that in the end of the interrogation, these interrogations usually would go for two days. The longest one, however, he did was three day long. That I'm insane. They always came to conclusion that I'm insane and through this interrogation, he will corner the mind into a street with like no rational shit. In other words, you have to give him whatever the fuck he wants to hear, or you're going to fucking drop dead because you can't even sit anymore from exhaustion. Then he would use that issue, that stupidity that you stated, the analogy as insane, and then he would use that issue that you stated, which was crazy issue in front of other people in Britain and elsewhere to make a point about my being insane in front of other people. This is Prince, now King Charles. This is how he did it. Yeah. How the fuck I know that this was the real Prince Charles, King Charles? Since it was in our house that oftentimes this crime, not only in Britain, have taken place. But because it was also in Britain that I met these elites, these people, in these locations where these people resided. Reside. Windsor Palace, Buckingham Palace, all these locations. It couldn't be Slovenian police, it couldn't be KGB that went inside of their palaces into this stuff. You understand? So it was a real deal. It was the real next to bullshit I am presented with. on the internet reminding me about the stuff I regretly have to confirm that British appear have not lost their hope still trying to convince me that in fact this kind of shoes they're just not a good choice for me but they are a good choice for me they put them on sale and this is the right choice for me this is what they determined pretty much that there is no hope for me due to where I have. But I came to conclusion there is. This is really the hope. The hope is right here. Now, allow me to play this bullshit to you again. So that you will understand. And this is a doctor. This is a physician. What a pitiful physician. This is a physician, it's a doctor. Well, all drugs, all medicines, all interventions like this have side effects. There is no such thing as a drug with no side effect. All of us. That he compared to the unhealthy food that I eat. He compared the issue. Okay look different on the outside because we are you're gonna to need to use medicine to cure yourself and you're not gonna be able to cure yourself because you're gonna be genuinely genetically different genetically different than other people because of the food that you eat and that means we're all subtly very different on the inside biochemically and I am just giving you complete 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 MK ultra brainwash the way he gave but the point here about this stuff is con concentrated on two things 
not on a good fucking foot because a main killer of cancer patients it's not even a sugar it's a stress and Great Britain have used it its advantage for the sake of crime against me since 1995 what is known as uncertainty they connected themselves no they got involved governments American government through Washington DC exercised what is known as uncertainty or in other words job instability what's known as an upside down world when you sleep during at daytime and you work during the night time when you work sometimes 16 24 hours straight and then you spend a lot of time without the job wasting your money when you have no right to go to any kind of compensation any kind of assistance you know you know what I'm talking about and when we make drugs and medicines it's a, a best fit it's a bit like going to the shoe shop taking the first pair of shoes off the shelf and saying please wear these and we haven't measured everyone's feet individually. That's an aspiration of medicine in the future, to do that kind of personalized medicine. But this does mean you do occasionally get the pharmaceutical equivalent of an ill-fitting pair of shoes in a very small number of people. And the goal of making any kind of medicine and drug is to minimize the number of people who end up with a badly fitting pair of shoes. But it does happen. We do accept it happens. And the key thing here is the MHRA have been very fast to say, well, we've noticed this, we'll investigate, but in the meantime, as a cautionary note, we'll advise people who are in this particular position, and there are, there are few of them, so it's... it's not I, my only question is to NHA, since NHA involved in a human experimentation on me, they butchered me inside of this house. I was very detailed about what the fuck went on here, how they were testing things on me, including drugs. What the fuck have you managed to investigate within the last 28 years? Because you started with the butcheries in 1995 on me. So my question is, in meanwhile, you say, in meanwhile, you will la 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 la. So I should just rely on your meanwhile that is 28 years long on more what is known as uncertainty. You get the point? You're giving here, you're trying to sell here a false hope and a shit product. A shit product, basically, I mean this here. Pushing me away from what you have noticed I'm using again and what you have determined during MKUltra was to you the deadliest product because of the chances of my survival. You, sir! rated me as no chance to survive this stuff and your steps i'm acknowledging them right here as a desperate your desperate doctor that is trying to sell bullshit for the sake of your patrons over there inside of the buckingham palace and you got to be really, really, really desperate because today i think i did a good job i explained how you lured to this video that should not even appear anywhere under comparing the shoes with uh, with uh, with the medications and talking about that you will investigate but in meanwhile and so on and so forth come on man you suck it's not like we're expecting this to happen a lot but just as a cautionary note anyone in that situation shouldn't take this until we learn a bit more about why it happened. Yeah, well, all drugs, it doesn't happen a lot. All interventions like this so, have side effects. There is no... if you were in my situation, you possibly could not mistaken, not an individual, not his speech that he gave me on that MKO, the way he interpreted that they will, it will be investigator and then it will be give me the medicine. Prince Charles was the one who insisted that there is a medicine, but you're going to get the medicine only if you're going to be good. You understand this shit? There is a medicine for you. There is a medicine for your problem. There is a medicine, but you will only get this medication, this medicine you will get, in other words, if you will keep your mouth shut. Take shit and keep your mouth shut. And that takes us to the level of mental health experts. Yeah, well, this is this is a what 
Western society is chronically infested this year. Western society is chronically infested with the mental issues. Western society is mentally infested with lie, with a fake hope that's being sold to the people. If you look at the Hollywood, or if you look at the people in general, what kind of surgeries they perform, what kind of insane stuff they do to themselves facially, they can come to terms to, to be in peace. You know, to be in peace means to have a sanity. It's got a lot to do with the people that sit at the top of the state and interpret themselves as a firm whenever they are translating to the people how profitable it is to do the stuff like this to other people. That it's a money-saving operation, that is everybody in the country is going to benefit. That stuff it's necessary so the country and the people can get ahead. Then on the other hand, refer to them, to themselves as institution. Because they, like through the Prince Harry started, claim the injustice of the society against them, how they are exploited, how they are seen, uh, the institution and so on, which, by the way, was interpreted to me that the crime against me is being done, so I alone will become institution. And therefore, nobody and nothing, this is what the staff from Psychiatric Ljubljana Polia was involved in. They claim that once you become institution, you yourself become institution, nobody can do anything to you because you're institution. Well, this is not quite the truth. When you become institution, and when you are firm, at the same time, you are a bullshitter, you are a bullshit seller, a liar, a mischief, a criminal that is making people mentally ill, going straight through the torture, presenting yourself to the country as a firm, a company, in other words, presenting as yourself as something that country eventually is going to benefit from. And when you try to protect yourself from what you are being accused, when you come out and you point in yourself as an institution so that nobody can do anything to you. In other words, you're just part of something that had to do that. You wouldn't have done it if you wouldn't have to do it. But since you're institution, that means that you're a part of all this machinery engine. You had to do it, Charles, right? You see, you see what this is? This is the British way. This is how the British make mentally ill their own people foremost. And now they're trying to spread this mental illness also into Eastern Europe. They're trying to spread this mental illness unto the people like myself who had a dream all their life to become, for their country to become part of European Union, part of the society with a freedom of movement, part of the society based on capitalistic principles, part of the society with the freedom of exchange not only ideas, but socio-economical, well, socio-economical human relation exchange. I was 23 when I departed to the United States of America. But until uh, age 23, this is what I fought for, and this is what I was also persecuted for what I stated. And when this little country became a European Union member state, 
even before that, once I immigrated to the West, my dream that I have stated to you turned into a fucking nightmare. Eventually this nightmare consumed 28 years of my life. I read many times and heard the British Royals and Spanish Royals and Swedish Royals and Dutch Royals, Danish Royals, all kinds of Royals, Americans also, Washington DC presidents, Congress people, on how it's people that come to their country to change, not only do espionage, but to steer the problems, Russians, this and that, Chinese, Russians, and so on, and so forth. Well, I'm not saying that's not quite true, but your visitations to Slovenia resulted in exactly what I have demonstrated, proven to you in this video. You actually went ahead to awake, to create in Slovenia something that no longer would even exist, that systematically would destroy itself, it would, it was just, it would just disintegrate itself. But you, you came and you give it a major boost, literally through the Russia. It couldn't be deadlier than what you did. For me, and for many people that had a dream, European Union dream, become a part of the European Union society, you couldn't have done that worse. If I would have go to United States of America, or Britain, or Spain, or Netherlands, or Denmark, or Sweden, or Norway, and I would start doing what you have done to me here in Slovenia, I don't think you would have spared me for for months, I think, that I wouldn't last in your system. I think you would get rid of me quite quickly. Still, I left United States of America. You made me leave United States of America. As I stated, British went through London to make the life completely impossible in the US. And when I had to try to establish myself in other parts of the Europe, but British royals were stronger. The NHS was stronger, whatever I went. From Norway, Norwegian king eventually hijacked me, brought me into the psychiatric hospital when I applied for the political asylum in Norway in 2010. Psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje. Before I even applied for political asylum in Norway, they exercised threats the whole scenario on what they're going to do, how they're going to violate my right to political asylum request in Norway. And then they did, using also several, many agencies to kill the hope as much as possible. When you kill the hope to individual, like this guy is saying, in meanwhile, we will, in meanwhile, yeah, in meanwhile is 28 years. Let me ask you, Dr. Smith. What is this 28 years to you? That's like a meanwhile? That's like you don't know nothing? You want to what? Then they exercised crime against me that was unheard of. Then they brought me to psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje by claiming me how in Norway, nor Sweden, nor Scandinavia, I'm never going to get the job. The only thing you're going to do is you're going to run out of your savings and eventually you're going to land it in psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje. That's a King Harald of Norway who did this shit together with the psychiatric staff from Ljubljana Polje. So I don't have anything else to say. Now here, here is your beautiful British NHA, well, NHS. All interventions like this have side effects. There is no such thing as a drug with no side effect. All of us look different on the outside because we are genuinely genetically different. And that means we're all subtly very different on the inside biochemically. And when we make drugs and medicines, it's a, a best fit. It's a bit like going to the shoe shop, taking the first pair of shoes off the shelf and saying, please wear these. And we haven't measured everyone's feet individually. That's an aspiration of medicine in the future, to do that kind of personalized medicine. But this does mean you do occasionally get the pharmaceutical equivalent of an ill-fitting pair of shoes 
in a very small number of people. And the goal of making any kind of medicine and drug is to minimize the number of people who end up with a badly fitting pair of shoes. But it does happen. We do accept it happens. And the key thing here is the MHRA have been very fast to say, well, we've noticed this, we'll investigate. But in the meantime, as a cautionary note, we'll advise people who are in this particular position. And there are, there are few of them. So it's, it's not like we're expecting this to happen a lot. But just as a cautionary note, anyone in that situation shouldn't take this until we learn a bit more about why it happened in those two individuals. Well, I say to America, for your information, there is about every third person that has a psychological problems. And I quite understand now why. I used to be employed by South Florida Treatment Evaluation. That was a state psychiatric hospital with the maximum security measures implemented. Sort of prison psychiatric hospital. And by observing the people, by observing the people who worked inside of the system itself, I came to realize that sometimes if you really have to do it, and it's really difficult to do it. It's this beautiful word, for faith. Sometimes you have to collect whatever you can still collect and disappear before it gets all too late. And you will have nothing to collect because once you lose the sanity, then everything is gone. That's the main health. And as I stated, if I would have done to this to United, if I would go to the U.S. to do stuff like this, like this Royals did here in Slovenia, I don't think they would be watching me for too long. I don't have anything else I would say. Maybe um, every third person it's about 33 percent at the entrance when you go inside of the building it's written every third person when i saw that stuff i was like when i heard my co-workers how they viewed the system when i heard their stories and i heard their stories oftentimes i heard about the prison guards police officers going broke start life over i was like how the fuck you do this i mean if you get this kind of salary if you get this kind of pay you all this and that how how is it that always you so many times you go through so many divorces and you um you lose one house to to this you lose that car to that and so on and so forth jeez my grandfather used to say stretch your legs when you sleep only enough for you to have a cover over your body including legs including your feet so that you don't catch cold and so i know that there's a lot of reasons why people get mentally ill to the credits to the loans they take oftentimes but that I would learn to tolerate abuse, a crime, take one for granted, and then basically see myself in front of the criminals, those who destroyed my life with family, wife, children holding in their hands through these criminals, through the crime they created against me, that I have to inform you that's never going to happen. I'm not interested in that kind of role. My dream that I pursued for the sake of better life, prosperity, that has been also greatly misused, I think, in Eastern Europe through financial investments that I don't believe are satisfying uh, the needs of the general public. It's been greatly, greatly, greatly misused. This
was a nightmare. Talking about the European Union membership of Slovenia and membership of NATO, which I fought for. What used to be Yugoslavia here, greater Serbian Chetnik state. If you would say NATO, if you would say European Union, they would kill you, they would shoot you. You, you might be from Britain or Germany, France or Italy or something like this. You don't even understand what I'm talking about. You need to understand where I'm coming from. And for me to have received this kind of treatment like this, based on what British counted, it's going to be unconditional loyalty all the way to grave until the NHA or what he said, NHS, I don't know what it is. National, what is it? National Health Authority or what it is, I don't know. Um, is going to do something about it. With cancer present, with thrombosis present in me, not only broken spine, that British royals finance in Poland to finally take place. I think if I would wait for the for the for the for if I would leave for that medication the Prince Charles promised me, now King Charles, if I would leave for the moment that NHA would investigate and throw reject even these shoes to possibly have them by British royals proven as a very good choice for this type of environment. Well, I think I probably really would require also for a psychiatric medications. That is the only thing I have to say because The goal was more than just to go after physical health, destroying one's physical health. The goal was to compel one to eat himself from within, consume due to stress, due to uncertainty, due to plot, constant and going crime, large amounts of foods, cluster fuck his brain. Excuse me to express myself like this and fail, die basically. Your thrombosis, the cancer, this is no joke. It takes you out like you wouldn't believe. And if somehow individual would survive, he would have suffered from enormous psychological trauma problems that he would carry on due to lies. You know, when you interpret it, abuse, torture as a form of help to yourself, there is no greater psychological damage you can possibly do to yourself. The people in Hollywood can absolutely confirm what I stated. Now that would be really a tragedy. Then I would say, then I'm really, really fucked if I would go into this. That's all I wanted to say for this video. Incredible. I find, I find this stuff incredible. I find this video incredible. And that you should see how the gentlemen have interpreted like drugs, this is going to be help all interventions it, like is going to be a help to remind me there is no such thing as a drug with no side effect all of us look different on the outside because we are genuinely genetically different and that means we're all subtly very different on the inside biochemically and when we make drugs and medicines it's a, a best fit it's a bit like going to the shoe shop taking the first pair of shoes off the shelf and saying please wear these and we haven't measured everyone's feet individually. That's an aspiration of medicine in the future, to do that kind of personalized medicine. But this does mean you do occasionally get the pharmaceutical equivalent of an ill-fitting pair of shoes in a very small number of people. And the goal of making any kind of medicine and drug is to minimize the number of people who end up with a badly fitting pair of shoes. But it does happen. We do accept it happens. And the key thing here is the MHRA have been very fast to say, well, we've noticed this, we'll investigate, but in the meantime, as a cautionary note, we'll advise people who are in this particular position, and there are, there are few of them, so it's, it's not like we're expecting this to happen a lot, but just as a cautionary note, anyone in that situation shouldn't take this until we learn a bit more about why it happened in those two individuals. We learn exactly why it all happened, 
uh, I'm going to tell you. I, I'm going to tell you how it all happened, so that you will understand why it all happened. Fuck that! Why it all happened? I'm going to just explain to you what exactly it happened. It happened so that British went in crime against me for the sake of Vlad, Vladimir Putin, who for whom now they are claiming through their Ukrainian friends. Ukrainians have to be on board or they will get no weapons for whatever, you know, Ukrainian, in my case, for me, Ukraine, it's like the worst thing possible that happened to me because Ukraine was the most, the party, the weakest party in this process. Ukraine did not have petroleum, did not have technology. It's a failed Eastern European post-Soviet country that desperately need help, desperately need help. And I knew all along that Ukrainians had to do this stuff to stay alive, to stay afloat. If they wouldn't have done what the Russians were doing anyways, next to selling the petroleum, gas, minerals through the British royals, which control absolutely everything in Britain when it comes to capitalism, it's an unequal share. It's not equal. It's not equally distributed capitalism for what people in Germany, France, and Italy are fighting for. But it's unequal. It's all controlled by this royal firm, if you like, conglomerate. If they see you, a potential in you, they'll help you out to grow. Once you grow, they'll make you disappear. They'll take you over. That's all there is. If you somehow appear as a potential. <clears throat> That's a United Colors of Benetton definition of British. I call United Colors of Benetton and that's why I call capitalism. That's how I refer to it as a capitalism. They steered the shit for the sake of Vladimir Putin, for the sake of the war against Ukraine. Not really. Through Putin they knew it's going to be war against Ukraine. For me, they knew that I'm going to be absolutely loyal to any Eastern European country other than Russia, till the Russia would assume the principle of a peaceful country toward its neighbors, such as this case of United States of America toward European Union member states. And for the cost of my loyalty, British started to implement the crime against me, which they refer to no future help to Ukraine if you would talk against us. Talk against us is just to reveal the truth about the torture that went on which desperately they are trying to cover up, do absolutely anything possible for me to keep silent about one. Did as much damage as possibly could to destroy my life in the United States of America while pointing or at Putin. There was a reason why Central Intelligence Agency, Federal Bureau of Investigations, Americans have assisted British ongoingly and brought me to Eastern Europe for torture. There is a reason the concept they created based on which the people were conditioned their involvement in MK Ultra and also financial status within the society such as from discounted real estate purchase and uh, special financings and uh, stuff like this. It's a corruption. It's a world of corruption. And finally, the trade, the business, the oil, gas, minerals, which British royals exercise through Russia, was negotiated, or I should say inked, 
next to my problem. In red also with Ukraine, in respect to Ukraine. Putin wanted more than money. He wanted part of the Ukraine. And there you have it. There you have your secret recipe for success. A firm, therefore, not constitution, but firm. Now it's a firm. With a predisposition of constitution, in case I would start to complain about it and point in Britain as a sole criminal that was involved against me. Sole criminal, in fact, which prevented Germany, France, Italy, Spain, I'm going to say even other monarchies, such as Norway and Sweden, that's true. Norwegians and Swedes and Dutch and French and Germans, they didn't see this in line. They were not in line with British royals. British royals were very, very specific. British royals work, on my case, they wanted to see me dead since 1995. The lies, the hope they came up with, it's impossible to count the number of these lies they came up with. As much as they wanted to help, as much as they wanted to do it the European Union way, the Strasbourg way, the Brussels way, they were not allowed because of the British. British at the meantime were a members of the European Union. They were just recently when they made Brexit. But they didn't make Brexit before they acknowledged those that wanted to help me out at all costs as a Soviets. And that's how the term known as EUSSR came to picture. Now, now they're happy on their island with institution giggling at everybody quietly whispering European Union, Soviet Union and hoping for me to keep silent, quiet, eat more lies, eat more bullshit in other words. Throw the hope away. That's what this is. That's what this is all about. I don't know what to tell you other than don't stretch your legs more than what your bed shit you cover is long because you're going to catch cold. Don't do the stuff that you can't afford and that even includes not only credit but as you see right there sanity issues. Don't believe the bullshit. Don't go for the bird on the roof. If the worst comes to worst, don't let what you have in your hands. Because if you lose even that the most basic stuff, then really there is no point of return. There is nothing to live for. That's the next stage. There is stage after the losing hope too. Hmm.